are you? It's Aisha Hogan again. And we're here um, <clears throat> with Kelly Fisher, and I'll be introducing him shortly as we talk about the upcoming um, iAwesome launch celebration. And it's a two day, like from 10 in the morning till 7 p.m. at night, Eastern Standard Time, two days, 30 of our faculty coming on to talk about certain topics, to put out some strategies, some tips, to share with you their love of iAwesome and, and the passion for the work that they do. So I'm super excited today that Kelly is with us. You know, he's one of the first faculty that jumped on board of iAwesome, which is amazing. So Kelly, um, Tell us a little bit about you. I mean, I've got your bio here and I don't want to sound like I'm reading it. So tell me a little bit about you and the passion that you work with every day. Well, I have been studying the mind and how it works my whole entire life. I was what I call born awake. And when I was young, it was a curse. <laughs> and as I got older, it was a blessing. Um, I have to figure everything out. So figuring out why people think the way they do and feel the way they do and emote and just how this system works has been my lifelong mission. And I went through a tragic breakup, I guess you call it, when you're going through a, a divorce, it's the worst time of your life. But looking back, it was the best time because I developed my anxiety solution program from that. Right. I didn't have anxiety before that. And I had extreme anxiety. <laughs> I'm like, what? The? I thought I had the tools to get over this. What the heck is going on? So uh, it was a blessing. I designed my online uh, anxiety solution program, which is and I awesome. Um, and yeah, just uh, over the years of working with so many people, I kind of developed this it's working with so many different people. I developed this, uh, what I call emotional funnel system. This is my system to you, the, everything. It seems like life is coming at you and people say, I have a stressful job. I have a stressful life. No, you don't. There's no such thing as external stress. Yes, there is. <laughs> they want to hold on to the limitations. I said, the way you funnel it through is, is everything. And so when you think it, you have a chemical reaction in the brain to that thought and you feel it, the, you feel the chemical and you emote it out. So once you understand this system that everyone's born with and really get in control of it, man, everything else around you just starts to fall into place. It's amazing. And it's funny, it's something not funny, haha, -ha, but funny, strange that like what somebody said there, which is, you know, it's the anxiety, the, it's happening from something outside of you, right? That moment where you said, and you've said it many times, sorry, let me just turn this off. Um, you said that many times where it's between this now moment and yep. the future, yep. or it's, you know, between this now moment and the past. Yes. And I think that's, you know, we are either thinking about things that we've been through yep. and that brings us stress and anxiety and a lot of negative chemicals in ourselves yep. or we think about something in the future with our what if what if this happens and what if that happens and you start yep. playing that scenario in your head yep. and you know you're a hypnotherapist and so am i and you know i've always told everyone so guys this is a little tip your subconscious doesn't know the the, the difference between what is real and what is imagined Nope. So when you start this what if scenario in your head, like how many of you have done it where you get yourself into this what if like to the point where you're emotional, yep. like you're acting like it happened, like you're feeling what it would feel like and it didn't even happen and you've traumatized yourself and a lot of chemical mm -hmm. wonderment has happened inside of you and your subconscious is acting like it happened. Yes. Right. So, yeah. you know. Cut it out with the what if scenario. Stop it. Right? <laughs> what, 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 if, what if everything went right? How about that? Is a, a worry is a misuse of imagination. If you're going to use your imagination, what if everything goes right? Like people are like, well, yeah, yeah, but no, yeah, but what if everything goes right? Use your imagination for good, not evil. And he, he, like Abraham Hicks has a really great statement in heat about the what ifs. He turns yeah. around and says, instead of saying what if, say, wouldn't it be nice if? Hmm. Yeah. There you go. Like, wouldn't it be nice if? Yep, everything you know? works out. Yep. And it, and the reason for that is that we can't turn on and off like a light switch. No. Right. No. So, you know, so it's wouldn't it wouldn't it be nice? This is a, is a sort of a gentler way to sell this yep. new. Wouldn't it be nice if to your subconscious? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's a gentler way of getting you in there, and it, it feels like, better. Yes. So, <laughs> it feels better. Good chemicals rush into your body. Let's do that. <laughs> Yeah, if you're going to spend your time imagining, yes. Yes. seriously, like Imagine. why would you spend That's your time imagining that. horrific things? Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, even, even like the even like the example you gave of you know your mind fills in the gap of worst case scenario. That's what humans default to. Even when it was an actual story, 
telling that story and dragging that baggage with you and over and over. It didn't happen 10 years ago. It's happening right now because you're thinking and talking to other people about it. That's a major yep. problem with a lot of my clients. Tell a new story. Because again, they don't have, they don't get it, right? They don't get that the subconscious doesn't know the difference between past, present, future. Nope. Everything is right now. There is no time. It's right now. So if you keep dredging up the old story, sorry, my windows are all open and we'll just give this a second while this big truck drives by. Um, <laughs> If um, if you're imagining it, yeah. it's happening. It's 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 funny. Like when I went through uh, that breakup, and it was like you know, a few years later, I was I was back on my feet. I was good again, and I was talking to an online coach, and she said, "You need that signature story." And I told her that story. She goes, "That's it." I'm like, "I'm not going back there. <laughs> no way right? I'm living that. No way." She's like, "Yeah, but think about how you got out of it, and how many people you could help." I'm like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> but it's it's how you tell the story. Yes. Yes. Right. It's how you tell. Are you going to tell the story from the from the eyes of a victim yes. of the story? Or are you going to tell the eyes, you know, from the eyes of, of, of a hero of the story that you surpassed? You grew because of it. Right. Yeah. So it's all in how we tell our stories yeah, as well. That, that's, that's a great point. It was almost like a second healing going back and doing it the right way. Absolutely. Yeah. It's funny. I was talking to when we were doing the book from bottom to top and I was getting all the, the authors in for that. And. Everybody said to me, I kept getting emails from everybody saying I should rewriting my story has been like, like, you know, I didn't think it was going to be such an emotional thing. Like, you know, and I said, well, you're healing still clearly from it. Right. Which is great. And you're growing from it and look at where you've come because of it. Right. So. Yep. Yep. Our yeah, stories it's, are it's, powerful. Yeah. I, I tell people it's, uh, I was working with somebody the other day. It's, it's, it's an unfolding like, yeah, you could close your eyes and get into that state instantly. I'm like, yeah, but it's like, I always compare it. I used to be a personal fitness trainer. I was like, yeah, well, you know, I lift 90 pound dumbbells in each hand too. But when you come in, we're starting with the empty bar, <laughs> you know, you have, to, <laughs> you have to start, just shut your mind. You have to, Cause I talked to you about my out of body projections, remote viewing, all this cool stuff. They're like, I want to do that. I'm like, let's try to shut your mind off first let's <laughs> let's start with the basics let's start here so but i my point was it's it's always an awakening it's an unfolding it's not it's not like like abraham says you don't get the diploma and hang it on your wall i'm woke now <laughs> it doesn't work that right. way it's an unfolding i'm always learning i'm always just going to different levels going wow i didn't even see that coming even like the other day when you did that guided visualization for us man i was like i went places i'm like oh i didn't expect that today that was fun <laughs> I love it. I love it. And it's a different thing for everybody. So it's, yeah, it's a right. great, it's a great thing. And it's an allowing that. And lately, actually, I've been, you know, just sort of off on the outside. I've been kind of going a lot more into contemplation space, mm. rather mm. than meditation space, or deep, because that's like all right brain. And, you know, the concentration and focus is all left brain. Yeah. And then, you know, but contemplation is both sides. Mm. Yeah. Right. So it's really, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of, and you don't even have to go way deep right. to do like the contemplation. So it's great. And it's, it's just, it allows you to create change in yourself because you're contemplating. Yes. I, I, I tell your it your imagination. Yeah. When clients ask about going deep and they're like, they can't shut that conscious mind off that ego conscious mind. I say, that's okay. Use it as we're going into it. Use it. You don't have to shut off. We're not monks in the Himalayas shutting off our mind completely. That's not the goal. <laughs> that's not the, goal. the goal is to actually get, slow our mind down so we can get healthy, get all that good stuff. But actually you, I mean, it's, it's like, well, if I shut the conscious mind off, when you say visualize this, aren't I using the conscious mind? I'm like to a degree in a different way. Kind of like what you said, we're using it. Yes. But you know, it's, we're using it to our advantage instead of letting it run the show. Yep. Yeah. And there's different levels of consciousness, guys. There's so much to learn with this. Really. Ooh. If you don't know about hypnosis, Ooh. you should learn it because yeah. you're like in it 120 times a day without even knowing. Yes. So, yes. you know, it's really needing to pay attention. I love the one clients that come, I can't be hypnotized mm. or I don't have an imagination. Mm. Yeah. You well, know, if, did you think if, about if, what you were going to make for dinner tonight? Do you know mm. what it looks like on the plate? Hmm, imagination. <laughs> and so when somebody says I can't be hypnotized, Mike, you're in hypnosis. I'm gonna wake you up. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think everybody thinks of stage hypnosis. Yes, you know, they equate it with stage hypnosis. And you know, are we gonna make you run down the street, you know, naked yeah. eating onions or something? Well, no. Unless you want to. I mean, that might be something you want right. to do. Right. That's, that's your goal, man. Whatever floats your boat, that's the goal. <laughs> 
I, I, I've, I've done a handful of stage shows for fun. And I tell people at the end, I produce amnesia. I say, now, if, when you wake up your eyes, you're not going to remember anything, but you're going to have hours of restful sleep. And when I take them up, it's for entertainment. Of course. I, hey, do you remember the x-ray glasses when you saw a person naked? What? What are you talking about? It's entertainment value. And it's in a therapy. You want to remember everything. That's the goal to program it deep and of course remember and of course act on it so it's a it's a whole different level right yeah. absolutely so tell me something kelly what you know everybody has their reasons for why they came to iawesome i have my reason for why i built iawesome but you know what does iawesome mean to you um uh, i really think it's um you know studying what i study and as you know we've worked tinfoil hats our whole life and we were the black sheep of the family so it's like a place where all of them are, <laughs> where, you know, we just, we know, it's like, there's no, between the faculty, especially, there's no explaining what we do. We just talk about what we do and go a little deeper and ask questions. And it's just a place where we come together and just, you know, it's like, I was introduced to a friend uh, a couple months ago so, uh, and she's like, oh, you got to talk to my buddy. He sounds like you. We got online <laughs> Zoom and we talked for like two hours. We were down the rabbit hole. We live there. So it's like, you know, being around people that, and just all different techniques and all different tools and all different levels. And obviously there's no judgment here because we all have different backgrounds and different techniques. Yes. And so what we can bring, you know, when people come in, it's like, oh, well, let me take a piece of that, a piece of that. Like there's so much going on here. So that's that's the beauty of it. There's so many levels, no judgment. Everyone's working together. It's just no questioning what we do because we all know that we study this for a living and we love it. That's it. That's that's really the biggest thing is the passion, right? It's the passion between all the various teachers. It's the passion um, of working together, um, but still working with what we love, but still doing something together. I kind of think of it like the hive mentality, not that they're not that I think I'm the queen bee, but like a hive mentality where we're just all yeah. serving our purpose together and yep. to create this beautiful thing. And for us, it's about global growth. Right. It's about yep. global enlightenment. It's about, yep. you know, global evolution. We are ev we are changing whether we like to admit it or not. The changes are happening. And, you know, yep. and and just helping people through that in all the various different ways. So, you know, it's it's. It's a long time coming and yep. I, you know, I'm glad that I was able to be a part of building her and certainly wasn't my idea. Yeah. I never thought I would be doing something like this, not to this magnitude and where I think that it's going to, where I really feel like it's going to be going. Um, and it's different, like it's different for the teachers mm -hmm. and it's different for even the students coming in. And I don't want to say we're like the only people ever that have ever thought of anything like this. Like I wouldn't presume to say something like that, but it's just a whole different way of learning and growing and coaching and mentoring and helping when we can do this thing together in mm -hmm. a sense of where we're all looking for the same ultimate purpose, the same ultimate goal for everyone. Yeah, it, it's it's one step above, like I'm on another platform, the light and sound goggle machine guy, and he's got all my meditations, but he's got you know so many students, so many meditations, but it's not like a platform. It's like, if you go there and sign up with them, you got to figure it out on your own. You got to scroll through all those meditations. You don't know where to start, where to finish. So it's like nobody to talk to. So it's, it's not one of those, you know, this is like, I always tell people like, like I'm on a podcast and somebody says parting shot. And I said, listen, no matter how dark it seems, somebody been, somebody has been through what you, there's help out there. There's help out there. So when you could come someplace like this, and there's an abundance of help in so many different angles. It's like, oh, wait a second. People understand what I'm going through. This is, they could help me. And not only help me get back to reality, back to health and mental health, but next level, spirituality, out of body. Just there's, so, I mean, once you get the fundamentals down and you get healthy again, there's just so many different levels to take it. That's the exciting part about it. Right. And we're starting to even get teachers that are teaching in business. So solopreneurs, we're starting to get, you know, teachers that are going to be teaching in marketing. We have teachers that are, we have teachers that are teaching you how to play a piano and how to sing and how to like, so for everyone, their mastery, their, their, their gifts are different. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so it's not just all about, you know, healing your mind and your emotions. It's about enhancing who you are. Yeah. Right. And really stepping into, into that and having all the support that you need without being bombarded with marketing and spamming. Right. Yeah. So, you know, that's like just getting way overdone in some of these other places. So, you know, um, that's really what I love about I awesome and just this whole great love that we all have um, to do the same thing. Yeah. 
you know, to yeah. really help and, and, and use our own tools to get people there. So Kelly, I want to say thank you for coming into iAwesome. Thank you for being one of the speakers. Thank you for always supporting all that what we do together yeah. here. Yeah. And, um, you know, we look forward to having you as part of our faculty for a very long I time. It. I love it. So please join us July 11th and 12th. The link is in um, the description here. So please jump on that, jump into the webinar, register. It's two full days. Uh, once you register, we'll be sending you, um, shortly after, we'll be sending you um, some emails about, you know, the, the speaker schedules and stuff like that. Um, but there's so much going on. Please be a part of this. You know, you don't, you're not alone. Just know that, you know, especially with us, you are not alone. So come on in. Anyways, we will talk to you soon and have a great day. Thank you so much, Kelly. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Thank you.